Hari Srinivasan is in Mexico City tonight with the latest. Hari, good evening. Good evening, Russ. Mexico City has suffered the n most number of fatalities from this strain of flu, and the city's efforts to stop the spread of the virus are actually starting to disrupt everyday life. Anyway, they Perla Guzman was supposed to be confirmed this morning at Mexico City's National Cathedral, but when she and her fiancé arrived, the gates were closed. Their church, like most in Mexico City, canceled services to prevent the spread of the deadly flu strain. Really disappointed. It was a very special day for me. Life is upside down in this city of 20 million. Public places are shut down. Streets normally teeming with people are empty as Mexicans hide from a virus that has killed more than 80. Mexican soldiers and health workers hand out surgical masks to pedestrians, to people in their cars, and at transportation hubs. Mexican authorities are stepping up measures to identify and isolate people infected. Esto debe iniciarse. Today, Mexico's President Felipe Calderón said that of the 1,300 people suspected of infection, 900 were declared healthy. Still, everyone is being urged to get medical attention if they suffer from high fevers or lung congestion. The city is on high alert. That's why we're all wearing our face masks, looking for restrooms, washing ourselves, drinking lots of water. And if anyone shows any symptoms, we'll go straight to a health clinic. Schools will be closed until May 6th. Officials hope that will give them enough time to get a handle on the virus. According to media reports, officials here could begin investigating hog operations as a possible source for the virus. Russ? Harry Srinivasan in Mexico City. Thanks.